Alright, welcome back. We're on part four of our Let's Play of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. We are about to make our way back to the first building in the compound via the sewers. And, uh... We're gonna find Gustava, the female spy from STB. Make our way over here to this elevator. This is like the easiest way to get back to the first building without too much muss and fuss. Into the basement. The basement sewer. Alright, so we have two choices. We can either go down right there or go down right here and avoid possible mines. And we just have to be careful not to spend too much time in this water, because if we uh, spend too long in the water, we will catch cold and Snake will sneeze when you're trying to sneak around, which is not good, because that'll alert enemies to your presence, obviously. And you don't want that. But luckily we're almost there. Now we just have to be very careful to avoid mine. Alright, cool. And just make our way up here. It's always a sewer. It's always a sewer. Why is it that sewers are, are like, always in games? Why? 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 Let's talk to this kid, see what he has to say. The water in the ditch is freezing. You'll catch cold if you stay in it too long. Yep. Ain't that the truth. And we need card key number four. Card key? Alright, so, we're in basement two, we'll ride up a floor, visit the armory, stock up on some things, because now we have card key number four, which gives us some access to some better stuff in the armory. So now we can stock up on some more green pineapples, also known as grenades, we can get a, a uh, an armor vest. get some missiles, more ammo, now we can carry 200 rounds with our handgun, which is nice. And all stealth rules still apply. There's a pitfall right there, gotta be careful of that. Get some plastic. Explosives. Plastic explosives. That newfangled plastic explosive. There's ammo in here, but I've already loaded up on ammo. There we go. Nailed him before he could do anything. And there are some green pineapples here. Grenades! got to be careful with this next room because there's that guard patrolling like right there. I'm gonna wait for him to move because I don't want to get caught. Meanwhile, let's get this car going. Alright, cool. Can get caught by him. RC missiles. I don't think I ever use these until the very end of the game. Down you go! This room's a little bit tricky, because these guards... Yeah, the way these guards patrol... Yeah, like that. I have never been able to make it through this particular room without getting caught. This is another one of those rooms that I don't know what the trick is, but there's got to be a trick to not getting caught, and I've not figured it out. 
but luckily it's easy enough to evade them, so it's really no trouble. It's just a pain in the neck. So that's pretty much all we can get in the armory right now. But we're pretty, uh... We're pretty well stocked on things as it, as, as it is, so... So now we're gonna ride up to, uh... Back up to floor number two. Let's get moving. This elevator, and we will ride up. Is there anything on floor three? Yeah, we'll stop on floor three for a minute. There's a couple things that we can pick up here that we'll need. So this floor is annoying. We'll go in this room first. See me pause for a second, I'm just glancing at the map, because What? How the... How the... How the F... Did that happen? I didn't even see that guy on my radar. That was really bad. I'm all out of those rations. Damn it. You know, there he is. He's just hanging out right there. How am I supposed to get by him? If he's just hanging out. Not, and the best part is, is that it's not even the item that I'm stressing over isn't even worth this trouble. Yeah, it's this. It's a mouse, which I will never use. I just want to show you the item. <sighs> All that for that. Things I do. And luckily, there's nobody in here that's waiting to ambush me for another mouse. I am going to use one of these rations to refill my health and then just get that. Fucking hell. I was doing so good up until this point and really the rest of the stuff isn't even worth getting. But there is something else that we need to get. And uh, we go down here to get it. Just gotta be careful. Get our gas mask on. Yes. 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 And gotta be really, really quick with this. Okay. Can't see a damn thing. And we can't use those right here. Okay. 
yeah, those guys, if, if you just stand there like an idiot, they will see you. Usually, they are looking that way when you're in the room, but the last few times I've played, they haven't been. And the next room, you gotta be careful in, too. Is it, there's a guy there. <laughs> and I don't want to set off another alarm if I can help it. There we go. So all this to pick up our night vision, which we do need. Just ridiculous the amount of trouble. Get the gas mask going. And just wait for the camera to pass by. Gas. Yes. We'll get the door open at least. Keep the gas mask on. Wait for the guy to pass by. So that way we don't run into him and cause another alert. We've caused plenty on this floor already. Whatever. Alright, we managed to get through that relatively unscathed. And I mean, I could have gotten some, some gas grenades, but I don't need them. So, there's really no reason for us to go back to that floor now. Now we're on floor four. This is where our search for Gustava begins. Careful, there's some tricky shit around here. You have this camera. There's a guard that'll be coming. So, easiest way to get by the camera is to put yourself in the cardboard box and let the camera move by you. And it will, and it'll be none the wiser. And we want to make sure we're right here because of this guy. He's always he always sneaks up. And you just fire away, and he's gone. Ooh, little girl. There's only one bathroom here. It's on the southeast side of this floor. I'm too scared to go there at night. Is it nighttime? I don't think so. If you catch a cold, go to the infirmary and they'll give you some medicine. Good advice, as usual. Ah, it's pitch black in here. That's why we have these. Gotta duck under here, and we've gotta be very careful because there are two pitfalls that if you're not careful, you can fall right into. There's a bunch of soldier mannequins in there. Oh, okay, good. Alright, so, word of warning on the next room, depending on where the actual living soldier is, there is one soldier in the next room, and then the room right north of that, there are three. Uh, depending on what direction they're facing, you may or may not set off an alert the minute you step into the room. Again, one of these weird little things I don't know how to avoid in this game, so I honestly don't know if there's any way to beat this game without setting off an alert. Let's just... Oh, okay. He is right here. That's him. Next room. Got to be really, really careful. Try not to see Yep. Right in their field of view. Once again, I really have no idea how to avoid being spotted by these guys. Because... It's kind of hard to, um, I guess, avoid getting in their line of vision. Yep. 
when uh, the whole purpose of this room is to basically throw you off the game. Alright, I'm just gonna walk and hook the door, and the alert will go away. Magic. Now I just gotta be careful of the colon soldiers in here. Um, right here is the refrigerator. You pick up a couple rations. Oh, okay, so... Why don't I use one? Oh, it's frozen? I was only in there for like a second. Too annoying. Okay, so... The object here... Is to basically park yourself right down here. And wait for... Gustava to go into the ladies room and then catch her in the ladies room. So, I'll grab this bucket. You can actually sneak in the bucket. Which is kind of funny to, to see. Watch. So, you just look like a bucket. Cardboard box is better. doesn't make any noise. I think this soldier may be Gustavo. Let's watch and see what he does. As long as you're patient, it's fine. Yep, this is Gustavo. who we want. Let's go and get her. Wow, she changed fast. Gustava? Yes, that's me. I am Gustava F. S. T. B. And you must be Solid Snake. We're after the same thing. Why don't we work together to save Dr. Marth? Have we met somewhere before? Mm -hmm. Typical Western man. Always ready with a pickup line. Now I remember, you're Gustava Hefner, the Ice Princess. You took the gold at the Calgary Olympics. You must be mistaken. I don't think so. I know I'm. Enough of this. What about Dr. Marth? I made contact with him over the radio, but he doesn't speak English. Then he's safe. Good. I'm glad that he had that surgery to implant the microtransmitter. Snake, lend me your radio. The frequency is 140. And I'm not even gonna try and uh, pronounce this. Okay. Snake, Dr. Marv is safe, but for now. He says that there's a large crevice to the north of the tower building. The prison is on the other side. Dr. Marv also expressed concern about Dr. Madnar. Right now, we have to get more out. Got it. And one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in any video game. I know a shortcut to the crevice. There's an old sewer running under here. We can take that elevator down. Let's go. Whoa, there's an elevator there? What do you know? Who the hell designed this place? Who puts an elevator in a ladies' room? Like, really? 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 What, how... How do you... How does it... How does that make sense? How does that make sense? It doesn't... Okay, so... Now we're, uh... Reaching a point in the game... Where the difficulty starts to get a little ramped up. We have to be careful of these things that are moving around. You touch one, it's instant death. Okay, and they all have set patterns that they follow. And you've got pitfalls in the floor that you have to be careful of. But yeah, those things are instant death, so don't touch them. If we stay up here, it won't touch us. 
so we use this elevator. This will get us to Dr. Moore. We're trucking right along at a good solid pace right now, folks. Oh, Gustava! Snake! Doctor, you're alright. You've lost some weight, Magnar. And you haven't changed a bit, Snake. Snake, we must hurry. Dr. Marv is waiting. You mean, Marv is still alive? I thought I could escape through this passageway, but the elevator wouldn't open from the inside. Gustava, you and the Doctor get me. No, wait. Snake, I have something to give you. I swiped it from a guard. It's card five. Lead the way, Snake. I'll follow you. Yeah, I, I can't really do a woman's voice. I'm, I'm sorry. My women are terrible sounding. My Russian accent probably sounds terrible, too. But, that's the point. Cheesy, cheesy voice acting. In through the suit and we just go up, 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 and up. Not much to this place. Snake, wait, I can't go on. I must rest a little. Snake? Alright, we'll take a short break. Please excuse me. I have some business to take care of. Business, quote unquote. How odd. Give the guy a break. He's an old man. He can't hold it like you used to. No, I mean us. A world renowned scientist, a former Olympic athlete, and an ex special agent trudging through together through a sewer. Fate can be funny sometimes. Fate? Yes, perhaps you're right. You know, when I was a little girl, my mother used to tell me stories about Poland during World War II, about the Warsaw Uprising. My mother spent days in the sewers under the city fleeing from the Nazis. Her skin and clothes were caked black with mud. You could not even see her face. My mother and I are much alike. We are both haunted by war. Stop. Why do you quit skating and join STB? You'd think an Olympic medalist would get the royal treatment. Not exactly. It was something about the ice. It felt... cold. The ice. Snake, are you married? No. I don't have a family. You? I'm all alone, and it's not because I like being single, either. Perhaps I simply never had a chance. What about a boyfriend? Once. Only once. I thought about getting married. It was back when I was still skating. I was deeply, madly in love. It still hurts to think about it. He was a western man. His name was Frank Hunter. He was handsome, well-mannered, intelligent, but always afraid. I would have thrown it all away for him. My family, skating, everything. I would have followed him anywhere. He would have defected. Yes, but there was not to be. The West rejected my bid for asylum at the last minute. Some sort of political reasons. I still don't understand. They probably just didn't have room for me. It happens all the time. Ever since, my family and I have lived a nightmare. We lost our right to compete. We're branded as refuseniks. I had no choice but to go into STB. But I have no regrets. When I was on the ice, I knew only the ice. Now I know so much more. I've even killed him. What about him? Did you ever? I never saw him again. Our Berlin Wall was too high for either of us to climb. Hello again! Sorry to keep you waiting. That was some bathroom break. Let's go, Snake. I think Gustavo's got the hots for Snake. I don't know, just a, just a hunch. Yay, we've reached the end of the sewer, and there's another elevator in the sewer. It's 
place is loaded with elevators. Uppity up up up. Yay. Love that loading screen. Okay, I'm gonna equip my mind attack. There are some mines that we have to be careful of. And unfortunately, when I've got these two trudging along with me, I can't really uh, take care of the mines the way I normally would. Pick up mine, pick up mine, can't carry anymore. So gotta be We can only cross it one at a time. Let me go first. I haven't got long to live anyway. No one will miss me if I fall. Something about this doesn't seem right. Now I know about you folks. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. It's alright, you can come across. Okay, I'll go next. See you on the other side. It's safe, Snake. Hurry and cross over. What the hell? What? What? What just happened? Gustava! Gustava! Ah, oh, Snake. I knew I couldn't do it. Couldn't find my footing off the ice. I was always skating around. I never learned to plant my two feet on the ground and walk. The ice is starting to fall between the east and west. Gustava, it's time to start planting your feet on the ground. Take control of your life and start living. Gustava, don't give up now. It's too late for me. I've seen enough people die already to know that I'm beyond saving. Just my luck. Just when I met someone wonderful. Thank you. Take this. It's card six. And this. It's my brooch. Can use it. You. How? How do I use it? I can. Oh, oh. Friend. Snake. Snake. going on? Uh... Metal Gear? Snake, it's me, Gray Fox. Gray Fox? This bridge is closed. I'm taking Madnar with me. Tell you what, Snake, for old time's sake, I'll do you a favor and let you live. If you get your sorry carcass out of here. You hear me? Go home. Now. Think it over, Snake. <laughs> Fox! You won't get rid of me that easily. Oh, great. Now we can't cross. Snake, you remember the veranda in the tower building they used for parachute jump training? If you have a hang glider, you can jump from there straight over the crevice. There should be a hang glider on the east side of the first floor of the Zanzibar building. I saw it once at Thanksgiving. See ya! So basically, we have to go back to the first building and get ourselves the hang glider. So we've got some backtracking to do, ladies and gentlemen. Get rid of these mines. Boy. Snake really does not have any luck with women. Every woman he meets, something happens. He's like a curse. So there's stuff in each one of these trucks. B1 units, 
plastic explosives. And you know what? I think I will need that. Oh, don't can't carry any more of those. Can't carry any more of that. And anything in here. RC missiles and gas grenades, okay. So we basically have to use card key six and go in here. This is the uh, the tall building we were in. The tower building, rather. And we have to get back to uh, the main building again, the Zanzibar building. And I'm going to take the fast route and use the, uh, the basement, because that's just the easiest way to do it. Because I could go out in front, but uh, that route's kind of annoying. Just means I have to be really quick in the sewer and not catch cold. Get in the elevator and ride it down. Okay. All right. So that is gonna do it for part four. Uh, we in the next part we're gonna get our hang glider. We're gonna be able to jump across the crevice, and we've got a few more things to do. But we are actually racing towards the uh, conclusion of Metal Gear 2 Solid Snake. So. Uh, really do appreciate you watching, and uh, stay tuned for what? It's going to be part five next. Uh, stay tuned for part five, and uh, once again, keep on gaming.